Hey guys, what's up? Prestec here, and today we're going to be covering another video. Uh, today's going to be a fully automatic sugarcane farm. Nice, easy, simple design, and uh, it works great. So basically, uh, you know when sugarcane grows and stuff, it's got to be near water. But uh, it grows, and uh, it's all detected by this one right here. I'm just going to quickly lower, just to normal, because I don't want to have any leg. There we go, so much better. Uh, so when, when they grow up, uh, when this one grows up, it basically has a bud switch here, so a block update detector, and it detects it, and it's going to come. It's going to knock this out while the block update detector is still going, so it won't interfere with uh, an another block update. And then it'll uh, also attract the rest of the pistons. So I'll pop one here, and you can see it works like that. Obviously, you can put some walls around it more so you get more sugar cane. But let's get right to building it. So uh, first thing is setting the time so that's not night time and next uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to place some water down and maybe I should have made a thing for it first and you're gonna have where's my dirt there's my dirt like this you just wanna go as far as the water goes um, like that and then this part I'm just going to leave as well. And now this part is where your sugar cane is going to grow. So you're just going to pop this all along there. Like so. And then from up here we're going to put blocks. All across there. And you got to try and get the sticky pistons so that they're facing the, the blocks that you just put down. Like this. So we're just going to put these. It's a little difficult. These are crossed like this, all the way. There we go. And now the way we're going to wire these pistons up, we're going to do it on top. So we're just going to run a bunch of that and some redstone wire along the top. So nice, easy wiring. Now the block update detector. This is the tougher part. So one above from where the sugar crane is at its minimum height, you're going to put the sticky piston. Then you're going to put a block, a block above it, and on this block you're going to have redstone up across a torch and below so that when the piston extends, sorry not there, Wait, is it there? Yeah, it's here. So I'm going to put a torch here so when it extends it's going to send a signal up through here. And we're just going to circle this uh, the signal back around up to here so that it auto resets the, the block update detector like that. So now if we pop this, you can see that it resets. But the problem is that if we if this grows, when we use a p uh, piston to destroy it, the piston might cause another block update. So we got to make sure that we have it uh, block update or we have the piston sorry push the sugar can out of the way while it's still updating so it doesn't have another block update afterwards and the way we do this is we attach it to this part that way it's not affected by the repeater um, like that so this one's gonna go to that one and now we're going to just hook this up um, let's actually do it like this There we go. So we'll pop a repeater there. And up like that. And that should do the whole thing. Of course, you can put some walls around it afterwards to make sure the sugar cane works. Or, sorry, it doesn't fall all over the place, but just to test it. Yep, and it works perfectly. So that's the fully automatic sugar cane farm. Uh, nothing. You don't really have to do anything. No buttons, whatever. And, uh,. A good thing about this is when the uh, 1.5 update comes out, stick some hoppers to some chests over here, and it can store it all for you. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.